Well, this is stuff that I love. Um, we are in an awesome camp spot in uh, kind of the not so central but getting close to central part of Utah. On our way up to Montana, doing some overlanding along the way. I'm not gonna tell you where because I really like it. So I'm gonna keep that secret. secret. Yeah. And for all you Utah natives, I know you guys appreciate that, but didn't take a lot of work. I just, uh, we're on our way to Montana and we're just doing a two night overland, overland kind of like excursion deal on our way up there. Main goal is to get up there, but uh, wanted to enjoy some scenic camping along the way. So just tried to keep it close to the 15 freeway. We left at eight o'clock this morning, our time, and it's 615 Utah time. I think we pulled in about an hour ago because we've just been kind of milling about. But um, yeah, I just tried to keep it as far as how I found the camp spot. I just kept going up the 15 freeway on uh, Google Earth and using satellite and just looked for offshoots, uh, different roads that took off from the highway towards the east side on the east side of the 15 to get up into the uh, forested area to try to get out of the heat because it's a little bit warm. So again, just picked it. We came, turned out awesome. It is beautiful. So I'll show you around, but we're going to be kicking it tonight, quick overland night, camping, enjoying and cooking. And then we're gonna get up early tomorrow morning, pack up, and I don't have a plan for tomorrow. I didn't do the same deal I did for today for tomorrow. <laughs> so, we're, uh, my co-pilot here is gonna find us a spot on the way up. It's gonna be a teamwork effort. Yes. Yes. So let me show you around camp real quick because it's, uh, it's pretty epic. So just kind of pulled up into the trees. Um, I could see on uh, the satellite that there were some dispersed camping areas being used. Zooming in, and uh, yes, did bring the Razor. Like I said before, Razor's coming. Got a cover on it, try to keep it out of the elements a little bit on the way up there. And the uh, KTM 790. There is a new motorcycle coming. Not going to tell you what, but let's just say the KX450 was sold. So something special is on the way. Anyways, uh, picked just a nice little spot up here. Um, it's nice and kind of keeping us out of the wind because there's like 15 mile an hour winds and it goes back in here. Uh, several little circles up ahead of us and just little uh, fire rings everywhere. And we've got a nice view of the valley through the trees. Saw a big bull out there grazing on our way in. The views were better over there. There were some, some nice circles that looked out the whole valley, but the wind was vicious. Brought the campfire uh, fire pit. Some new gear, did a lot of research, wanted a nice table, got one. Mountain Summit gear, highly recommend. And the Timbo Tuscottle. So what's funny is I didn't necessarily want one of these. Like everybody's got one who overlands, seems to be going the Scottle route because it's like the trendy thing to do. But I picked one up because I was bringing the barbecue in the stove, the Coleman stove, and it was just taking up a ton of room. Like, like I complained about last time, packing up and breaking down and all that stuff. It was there was too much going on. So I got the Scottle because it's going to replace the stove and the barbecue. And I've not cooked on one of these before, but it's a huge space saver. Um, from what I understand, they do a really good job. So we're going to give it a shot tonight with some pizzas. And I picked up a second Covia stove, which is what the Scottle uses to replace the Coleman stove as a way to you know, make coffee and still uh, put a pot on and cook some other stuff off of this. Other than that, there's nothing else new. I just got rid of a few things uh, to simplify what we bring. So it went really well. But we are going to, what are we going to do? Drink. Yeah. It is that time, guys. We are tired. We're looking forward to relaxing. We're going to get uh, get a couple of drinks made and probably do dinner here in a little bit. And just enjoy being here because this is awesome. It's beautiful. This is what I love.
one eternity later. Uh. Excuse me. Man, so we are struggle busting here at the end of the day. It is uh, Sunday and it's about 10 to 5. And basically we're in Idaho close to some part of Idaho yep. and um, just uh, looking for there's BLM land up against these mountains and we're just trying to get up to a section of that BLM land but every way to it to get there is private property and locked gates so it doesn't show those on the map uh, any of those gates it shows a lot of them as roads that you can take it doesn't say anything else so we're striking out. Uh, we were in a campground earlier, but it's no good. It's no good. We didn't want to do a campground. We were just looking to finish up the day, and uh, it's, it's going to be a quick night, and then off, and we'll get to the Montana house tomorrow. But we really would like to have somewhere nice to camp by ourselves with something a little bit more scenic. So we're going to finish this through to the end of this road up here and hope that we can get up against that mountain and get into a very small section of BLM land and uh, set up for the night. So wish us luck. We're going to find out in about 10 minutes. So we'll update you with either camp or, or I don't know what. Keep driving. <laughs> Montana is about five hours away. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So wish us luck. Fingers crossed. It's beautiful out here though. It is. It's just See, see, we'll see what happens. All right, check back in like two seconds. Well, it worked out. It's not exactly what we had in mind, but it's not ugly. It's not an ugly spot, you can see behind me. It is pretty, so basically we followed a very similar little two-track, what you see right here about this uh it's all surrounded by private property but um there's little itty bitty blocks of blm land up in these mountains and so uh carved out a little spot for the for the evening um and we've got a nice little view of the valley down below and somebody's got a fish oh, man, jealous. Wish that was mine. take a swim right now pollen's driving her eyes a little bit nuts but uh Show you camp real quick. Just dropped the trailer and uh, got set up. So we're gonna be doing some fajitas tonight. Looking forward to that. Making a couple of drinks real quick. Things are blowing over. Thankfully, I would have turned the truck around, but the wind, according to the weather service, says it's gonna get down into single digit eight or eight or nine p.m. and it's six o'clock now so if it's going to be single digit that's obviously no big deal right now it's 15 miles an hour which i would have turned the truck around to get the uh, hard side of the tent facing it but let's hope they're accurate other than that guys um we've got a pretty short jaunt to montana tomorrow i would say around five hours we should be there and looking forward to it but more than anything i'm loving this camping camping's like the best so we're just going to hang out, enjoy this view, sit at the table, relax, and cook dinner here in a little bit. Aremo, Aremo, Idaho, is what the phone says on the weather app. Aremo, welcome to Aremo, Idaho. <laughs> 